Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we are looking at the MG4, how to bind your mobile phone to it, and also the iSmart app that MG use. And so there's going to be a bit of change between camera here, screen recording, etc. But hopefully you'll find this video useful. If you're new to the channel, I cover all types of electric vehicle reviews from bikes and buses to vans and cars. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, like the video if you did like it, and let's get stuck into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is dive into the actual um, user, try and get it without some screen glare, and you're going to the home section. Uh, it is on the home section there, that's why it's not moving. You're going to users, and you've got the iSmart app. So you open up the iSmart app for this car anyway, and you scan the My Profile to log in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, change to screen recording mode on the phone so you can see what that whole process is like. But on the iSmart section, you've got travel plan. You have to log in first, um, account login, and then you put in your country code so you can change it. Uh, your username, your password, uh, you've got points of interest and you've got messages. So let me change to screen mode or to screen record mode on the phone and you can see exactly what I can see on my site. First thing I want to talk about if you're interested in all things EV and you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. Thing you need to do first is download the app. So I'm going to do this on Android. So on the Google Play Store, you just get into the Play Store and then just type MG iSmart. And you'll see the app pop up there with the MG icon, black and white in the current version. And when you click on that, just download it. I've already downloaded it there. So you'll have the option then on the right hand side where it says open to click on the download icon. Once you have downloaded it, find it on your phone. And the next thing we need to do is register. So when you hit the menu on the top left hand side, the hamburger menu, you've got login or register, click register. You can do it two ways. You can do it via your phone number or via email. So select your country code. So 353 for Ireland. Don't put in the first zero. So whether you're in the UK or whatever country you're in, enter your code, your number via without the, the zero because you put in the, it won't work if you have the plus 353 or plus 44 in the UK or whatever country you're in. Uh, the other option then is via email and just enter your email address and then the MG servers will either text you if you do it via phone number or will send you an email if you do it via the email section things. Once you get the verification code then you enter the password in underneath and then click done. Once you log in then click your password and you're accessed, so you've registered on the MG iSmart app. Next thing we're gonna talk about is binding the phone to the car. So you've click, click on the MG app, and then on the top of the screen, see where it says MG4 there, you're gonna click that, and that's gonna ask you then to add a vehicle. So if you've got multiple MGs in your family, scan that QR code, and then it's going to bring ask you to log in. Give it a second, and then add vehicle. I'm going to go back to the other uh, way of recording the screen with my phone camera. So on the screen you've got this connect vehicle and then that's going to bring up another app, iSmart app, and then the connect to the vehicle. So you want the second QR code over here because we've got the app already, we've already registered, so what we need to do now is connect to the app. So I'm going to go back to screen recording again. So then we go back into the app again, add vehicle, and it's that second QR code that we're scanning to bind ourselves to the actual vehicle. Uh, so it's a small bit convoluted. Asking for a security code, this is one that you create yourself. So I've just collected one, two, three, four. So these are the, this is the code that it's gonna ask you every time you want to use something on the app to connect to your car, it's gonna ask you for this code. And now I'm binded to this MG4 that I have, and you can see it has the, you can change the name of it. So for, Martin from EV News Daily. He calls his the Mighty Mighty MG. So I'm going to call this the Mighty MG4. No space is allowed. So that's going to be this vehicle. But as I said, if you have got other vehicles, you can, other MGs, you can do it as well. So you can add more vehicles. On the main screen, then, if you go back to the home screen, it is showing you all the data then. So whether the car is running, and it was in this case, whether it's locked or not, uh, the battery percentage 
the GPS, the remaining distance, whether you want to unlock or lock it. And then at the bottom of the screen, then you can pre-condition it with regards to enter your security code. And this is what we talked about, having to enter the security code. Now, because the car is running, it is I'd saying a failure because the air condition was already on and it tells me that verbally. But if you are outside sitting in your house or whatever it may be and you want to preheat or pre-cool your car, you also then can uh, put your trips in here so you can tell it where you want to go and this will then send it to the car's navigation. You've got the upper level trim, you've got MG touch points which is your local MG dealers, you've got charging management so you can set the percentage of battery whether it's 80% to preserve battery health or 100%, if the battery currently remaining, start charging, what the distance is, uh, schedule charging uh, and then your profile you can put in your picture, your name etc uh, etc et so all your details are within there. Um, and you can see the MG there, the digital key. So this connects, if you want to use the digital key, you have to enter in your security code and then give it a second and it will connect via Bluetooth. And then that will give you the option of locking, unlocking. Um, there you go. And then also keyless start. Now you can't just walk up to the car and the phone acts as a digital key. You still have to activate it. What I like with this one is the ability to share key functionality, which is turning on and off or locking and unlocking the car uh, with somebody else. And this can be via their email or this can be via a SMS and you can set that up so that they can have it for a certain length of time. So yeah, it looks really good and I'm sure this is going to continue to be updated. It's great to have this functionality with the MG and other MGs. This is the MG4 obviously today. You've got messages that come through from the system. So this is just talking about how I've registered on MG, but I've also connected on the app as well. So what I've done here is just gone out of the app and gone back in again just to show you that you don't have to go through all that faff. Once you've binded yourself to the car, once you've registered an MG, it's very quick and easy and it jumps right into the app and the bits that you want. Hopefully you've enjoyed my quick look around the MG4, the binding process, but also then the iSmart app and what you can and can't do on it. Looks great. Uh, it's not quite walk up and the key acts as a way to open and close the doors. You have to open it via the Bluetooth on the phone, or if you've got the key in your pocket, the keyless entry, you just press the button on the door. So it's not quite there yet, but very impressive. And the fact that you can share the key via the MG iSmart app. I think that's a really nice feature if you're away on holidays or you want somebody to move the car you can set the time as to where you look and they can do everything via their mobile phone. So yeah I really like that. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you haven't already subscribed please do so and remember if you think an EV is for you leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.